ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the English news of Bing Food Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm Wen Yu. We'll alert this news for today. Bing Food strengthens ties with Indian localities. IT training for women officials. Top leader receives newly appointed foreign ambassadors. Art program brings joy to children in storm affected regions. Vice Chairman of the Bing Food People's Committee, Trung Văn Mi, recently hosted a farewell reception for the Indian Consul General in Ho Chi Minh City, Madun Mohun City, marking the end of his term in Vietnam. Vice Chairman Mi congratulated Sithi on his successful tenure and expressed gratitude for his efforts in strengthening the ties between Bing Phuc and various Indian localities. He highlighted Sithi's role in promoting investment, culture exchange, religion and education. The host also expressed hope that Sithi will continue to support the province by fostering connections with Indian businesses, localities and the government for the enhancing cooperative and friendly relations. Consul General Sethi praised the effective cooperation between Bing Phuc and Indian localities, contributing to the growing partnership between the two countries. Notably, the trade between Vietnam and India surged, exceeding 15 billion US dollars in 2023. From September 17 to 28, the Institute of Information Technology of the Vietnam Women's Academy, in partnership with the Bing Phuc Women's Union, conducted a training course to enhance IT application skills for around 100 female officers from ethnic minority areas. The course covered 10 specialized topics, including personal branding on social media platforms like Facebook and Zalo, creating and managing Facebook fan pages, developing Zalo OA information pages, using TikTok for communication and image promotion, mastering communication skills on social media, designing and sharing images and videos with Canva, using AI to create slideshow presentations, and utilizing ChatGPT for communication planning. This training aims to help ethnic communities apply IT effectively, bridging the development gap between ethnic regions and other areas, and fostering socio-economic growth. To foster empathy and support for the people of northern Vietnam, schools in Bing Phu province organized fundraising activities during flag raising ceremonies at local elementary schools. These events aim to provide students with a meaningful learning experience at the start of new school year. At Tân Phu Elementary School in Dong Xoai City, fifth grade students were shown images of the devastation caused by Typhoon Yaki and the nationwide efforts to help northern communities recover. Teachers discussed the impacts of climate change and promoted a spirit of mutual support and solidarity, encouraging students to empathize with those affected by natural disasters. Following the presentation, students contributed donations to aid the regions impacted by Typhoon Yagi. As of 4 p.m. on September 17, through the Vietnam Fatherland Front in Bing Phu and various districts, towns, cities and social organizations, a total of 5,084 groups and individuals had donated over 16.13 billion Vietnam dong to support the northern province's recovery efforts. General Secretary and State President Tolam hosted receptions for newly accredited ambassadors from several countries who presented their credentials to the leader in Hanoi on September 17. Welcoming Chinese Ambassador He Wei, General Secretary and President Lum expressed his hope and belief that the ambassador will promote his role as a bridge connecting the two countries and contributing to enhancing their friendship and comprehensive collaboration. He emphasized that the party, state, and people of Vietnam consistently attach importance to the relationships with China, considering this a strategic choice and a top priority in Vietnam's overall foreign policy. Ambassador He Wei said he hopes to receive the attention and support from Vietnamese leaders, as well as the close coordination of Vietnamese ministries, sectors, and localities. He affirmed that in his position, he will do his utmost to foster the comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership and the Vietnam-China community with a shared future which carries strategic significance. Receiving Sri Lankan Ambassador Pashatha Pereira, Lum congratulated Sri Lanka for overcoming difficulties 
maintain stability, and achieving positive economic growth. The top leader suggested that the two sides should promote political trust and increase the exchanges of delegations and meetings at high and all levels. He affirmed that Vietnam commits to support Sri Lanka in agricultural development, promote people-to-people -people exchanges and tourism development, and strengthening business activities between the two countries. For his part, Ambassador Pereira expressed his delight at the development of the bilateral relations, holding that it is a foundation for more breakthrough expansion and cooperation between the two countries. Reviewing the traditional ties between the two countries, he said that President Ho Chi Minh visited Sri Lanka three times. The Sri Lankan people always keep in their mind the image of the late Vietnamese leader, he stated. At a reception for Austrian Ambassador Filippo Agathanos, Lum underlined that Vietnam always attaches importance to the traditional friendship and cooperation with Austria. The top leader suggested during his working tenure in Vietnam, the Austrian ambassador will work to promote delegation exchanges at all levels, especially high level to further strengthen political trust, thus motivating cooperation in other areas. Ambassador Agathanos expressed his deepest condolences to the government and people of Vietnam over the severe damage caused by Typhoon Yagi. Austria has strengths in cybersecurity and search and rescue and is eager to cooperate with Vietnam, the diplomat noted, affirming that during his tenure, he will strive to further promote extensive and deeper cooperation between Vietnam and Austria and other EU countries. On the same day, General Secretary and President Lum received letters of credentials presented by 14 ambassadors from Costa Rica, Malta, Sudan, Zambia, Mauritius, Uganda, Ghana, Ethiopia, Guinea-Bissau, Rwanda, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Botswana, and Bhutan. The Vietnamese top leader warmly welcomed the ambassadors, who have been appointed to assume their duties in Vietnam. The Party Organization of the National Assembly and the Party Civil Affairs Committee of the Government convened a meeting on September 17 to discuss preparations for the 15 National Assembly's aid station scheduled to open next month. The meeting was co-chaired by National Assembly Chairman Trun Tan Mun and Prime Minister Pham Min Chin. Prime Minister Chin said, the law-building work must institutionalize and concretize the party's guidelines and policies while evolving its approach with innovation within the drafting and verification agencies so as to open up space conducive to development. He suggested close and effective coordination between ministries and sectors and the National Assembly's committees in preparation for the upcoming session. National Assembly Chairman Munn said, the National Assembly's agencies stand ready to receive proposals and documents and review the contents that the government will submit to the National Assembly while drafting and verification agencies must work closely on issues that are unclear or garner differing opinions. During the eighth session, which is scheduled to open on October 21st, the National Assembly will look into a multitude of contents, with 29 related to legislation and 10 others on socioeconomic affairs, state budget, supervision, and personnel work. The Mid-Autumn Festival is a cherished phenomenon event celebrated on the 15th day of the A Lunar Month, which fell on September 17 this year amid Typhoon Jockey's devastation. A special event was how to support affected children and promote cultural values. In the spirit of mutual support and affection, the Vietnam National Drama Theater, along with numerous artists, organized a special program titled Mid-Autumn Without Distance on September 17th at Ho Guam Theater in Hanoi. The event aimed to support those affected by Typhoon No. 3, focusing especially on children. This program aligns with the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism's initiative to use artistic performances to raise funds for northern provinces severely impacted by storms and floods. It also reflects the artist's commitment to community welfare, building on the success of previous initiatives like Sharing Love, Overcoming the Pandemic, which was held during the COVID-19 epidemic. Artists performed for free, with all proceeds from ticket sales and donations channeled to storm-affected residents through reputable organizations. Despite being organized on short notice, the event garnered strong support and participation from many artists. 
Beginning on September 15, various art troops under the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism also launched performances to support flood victims. And that's it for this edition of PV TV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.